I'm Anthony DiBernardo reporting from Gamble Pavilion where the UConn women's team just defeated the Memphis Tigers by a score of 87 to 24. It was one of the most dominant senior days in recent memory. Senior day where we honor some of the great seniors that have played on this court the last four years. This year we honored Kalina Mosqueda Lewis and Kia Stokes. The big story is Kalina Mosqueda Lewis who led all scores with 21 points, hit five three pointers and joined the precedent 2000 point club, the eighth to do it. Kia Stokes got her 300th career block, the fourth Husky to do that as well. After the game, we were able to talk to the two seniors, so let's take a look at that. What has it been like playing with Kia for the four years? Sum that up. Um, you know, it's been awesome to have someone who's kind of been there with you for four years, seeing the things that you've gone through and gone through her own tribulations. Um, and just someone just to share it with, someone who you can be close with and, and know you can talk to about anything. Kalina, great game. You had 21 points. You led all scores. Uh, you, had, you got the 2,000 career points. Were you thinking about that going into this game? Um, you know, a little bit. Our coach, uh, Coach Rayama, told me last game that, you know, you only need four points, so you better get it on senior night. So I wanted to make sure that I got that today. Is a game like today hard to play with all the emotion before the game and the quick turnaround that you have to kind of regroup and get back out on the court? Um, I think you do have to, you know, kind of maintain a cer certain level of focus um, because with all the excitement going on and all the things that, you know, are going to happen before the game. But um, our coaches do a good job of making sure that we're focused, you know, making sure that our head's in the game. Um, that just shows kind of what we've been through, and I'm glad that, you know, I did my part. You know, I get rebounds, and she made her shot, you know, that's her part. 300 blocks, too. Did you know you needed one, or did you know? How did you see a reaction when you got it? Or um, yeah, I did. I did know that I needed one to get a 300, um, but I wasn't really focused on that during the game. I just wanted to make sure they didn't score. So I think, you know, if I get a block shot, I do my job. You, had, you get Carol Walters, Rebecca Loeb, Tina Charles, all big stars and starters here. You've done this basically as a reserve coming off the bench. Does that make you a little more proud of being able to accomplish that? Um, I'm definitely proud of it. It's one thing that I, I love to do, and I think coming off the bench and doing it, it doesn't I mean, it's great, but I think it just proves everyone. You don't have to start to be, you know, a good player at Connecticut. And I think that's one thing I'm going to take away from it. Just because I didn't start, you know, my four years, I can still contribute. And that's the thing that means the most. The UConn women's team gets ready for their game on March 2nd against USF. And, of course, that leads to March 6th, the American Athletic Conference Championship Tournament here at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Of course, all roads will eventually lead to that national tournament where UConn will once again be heavily favored. From Gamble Pavilion, I'm Anthony DiBernardo, and this is UC Sports.